And we begin tonight with a powerful, emotional, and tragic story from Amherst. And we warn you, the subject is deeply disturbing. Did a bunch of bullies provoke the weekend suicide of a student at Williamsville North? News 4's George Rickard talks with a parent of a boy who left his own heartrending message behind. We were out camping um, over the weekend, having a grand old time. But 12 hours after coming home Saturday night, 14-year-old Jamie Rodemeyer was found dead. He had taken his own life. We wish we would have seen any signs, but in seventh grade, it would have been more expected, and he was so fragile back then. For years, Jamie has struggled with his own sexuality. So he hung out with the girls a lot. So then the teasing started happening, like, oh, you're such a girl, or you're gay, or whatever, and that bothered him for many, many years. Friends say he seemed to be handling it better this year as he became a freshman at Williamsville North High School. In fact, in May, he posted this YouTube video. Hi, this is Jamie from Buffalo, New York, and I'm just here to tell you that it does get better. Inspired by Lady Gaga and her message, Born This Way, he gave his testimonial of being bullied at High Middle School. And they taught me in the hallways, and I felt like I could never escape it. And I made a form spring, which I should have done. And people would just constantly send me hate, telling me that gay people go to hell. And um, I just want to tell you that it does get better. One to the kids who are bullying, that they have to realize that words are very powerful and what you think is just fun and games isn't to some people and you're destroying a lot of lives and i would say to all the other kids if you see bullying happy happening you need to rally for your friends and gang up on the bullies and tell them they're wrong to stop it and if i can keep that message alive I will do that for my son. The Williamsville School District had no comment, but did send this home uh, letter home to parents announcing Jamie's death and informing them about grief counseling. There is also a support group right here in Buffalo called Gay and Lesbian Youth Services. Their link is on WIVB.com. George Rickard for the 10 o'clock news.